Hello and welcome to a new video on the Taniyama Shimura Wild Conjecture and the Exponential Lambert Series. I'm your host, Trader Zeta, and hope you're doing very, very well. First things first, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And now on to the video. Uh, this conjecture is also known as the Modularity Theorem, and here we are going to connect it to the Exponential Lambert Series. Recall that the Exponential Lambert Series is an exponential generating function of an arithmetic function b sub m. If I had a regular or OGF, ordinary generating function, for b sub m, it would be the regular Lambert series. This uh, arithmetic function and this arithmetic function are connected by the Mobius inversion formula. And of course, there are multiple representations uh, once you have the mid-tog Leffler function uh, representation. So I've just given two here. There's actually a lot more. Okay, our idea is that uh, if we plug in e to the 2 pi i tau, for x, right? It has something to do with modular forms, okay? Now, uh, the modularity theorem has been proven multiple times, uh, and it pretty much, in some uh, very quick overview, states that if you have some m equals one to infinity, b sub m, q uh, m, where q is uh, e to the two pi i tau, it has some associated uh, Dirichlet series. Okay, also known as L series, like not lots of names for these things. Okay, so I've kind of written them out, right? So you have what? Sum m equals one to infinity b sub m divided by uh, m to the s. Okay, and this is what Dirichlet series, and this is uh, you know the L series, right? This, this e right here is the associated elliptic curve, and that is of course the deep insight of the modularity theorem is that um, these modular forms are really deep down on a torus. They can all be mapped to a torus whatever, and then they go straight to elliptic curves, okay? And that's the cool thing. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to at least set this up. Of course, this is not uh, probably a rigorous deep proof of the whole thing, but I'd like to give the idea, the intuition uh, behind uh, this right here. Okay, so for EOS, uh, say this is a modular form for some a sub n and b sub m. We assume it's been proven to be a modular form, okay? Uh, one of the criteria that a modular form has is it has to have uh, some type of uh, Fourier expanse. And obviously that definitely does, right? Sum m equals one to infinity, b sub m divided by m factorial. Uh, these are the Fourier coefficients. And what we can do is we can pack this guy up right here and we can say uh, b m tilde, okay? E to the two pi i m, okay? But that right here is just this right here. And so the whole uh, idea is that um, the ELS has an associated elliptic curve via the modularity theorem, okay? So if you can map somehow b sub m tilde to all b sub m's, you're in a really good place, or even some of them. It doesn't have to be all of them. Maybe there's some really important ones that we care about that we can do this with. Thus, if this is a modular form, right? This is the uh, mittag leffler function representation of modular forms. Uh, there exists an associated Dirichlet series, we'll call this b sub m bar, divided by m to the s, and this has uh, the associated L series with an elliptic curve, and that's the whole idea, is that if, in fact, this right here can be proven to be a modular form, um, then we, in fact, have an elliptic curve. So this is a really cool idea, I definitely like it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video, like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next iteration.